everyone welcome back to my channel wishing everyone a very happy new year for my viewers and subscribers so today we are going to compare the king cobra with the python before i start the video please click the subscribe button and smash the like button for more videos now let's dive in, in into the battle so before we start the fight we cannot just take the name python we need to take a particular species of python example burmese python or african rock python but those mostly can't compare to the king cobra so we have to take the reticulated python because it's the biggest of them so now let's start Com completely with the battle the king cobra is the longest venomous snake in the world it can reach 8 12.5 to 18.5 feet in length but they weigh no more than 20 kilograms or 44 pounds. They are in the species Ophiophagus meaning they are not true cobra species because they tend to eat other snakes. The total, the total species name is called Ophiophagus anna and one of the facts about its length is it can lift three fourths of its body into the air. So if this is the complete size, it will most be able to lift almost all of its body up, which is a very nice feat. These cobras mostly live in the regions of South and Southeast Asia in countries like India, Myanmar, Thailand and mostly in Indonesia and Malaysia. Now let's start with the reticulated python. The reticulated python is, a, is the longest snake in the world and the second heaviest snake in the world after the green anaconda weighing about 100 kilograms. So the, the reticulated python would almost outweigh the king cobra more than five times. They, they also stay in the same region from in the same region of the king co of the king cobra. They also mostly like to stay in Indonesia. One fun fact about the python, reticulated python is but it's horrifying. In 2016, an Indonesian woman was swallowed whole by the reticulated python. Now, let's discuss about another criteria. The king cobra mostly preys on anim mostly preys on snakes. It is it is their main diet. They include rat snakes, yellow rat snakes, black rat snakes, and sometimes pythons. Russian pit piper, pit piper, saw-scale vipers, everything in their menu, including other cobras, Philippine cobras and spectacle cobras. There was one video in which a king cobra dragged a spectacled cobra out of its own burrow, which is impressive. If, if these snakes are not there, the king cobras have a backup plan. They eat on rodents frogs, birds and small mammals. Their venom is not known to be very venomous but they exert more venom. If you exert more neurotoxin it is better than just giving a small amount of very potent venom. The king cobra has a second highest yield of snake venom after the gaboon viper. Now for the python. The python mostly likes to eat warm blooded mammals such as rodents, birds, frogs and mammals. But sometimes they will hunt bigger prey like ducks and he's and probably a pig as well. They can also sometimes eat crocodiles, but that is not that much possible. They also will sometimes eat other smaller snakes if they are hungry enough. But these two snakes are different. 
The King Cobra is venomous, whereas a python is a constrictor. Its teeth are very sharp and curved backwards. Arboreal pythons, they have much bigger teeth but they are not sharp. So, we have now completely discussed about these two animals. Now, let's see who would win a fight between these two predators. The king cobra or the reticulated python. So, let's start the analysis. This would be a bit hard to analyze because the king cobra is venomous whereas the python is a constrictor. Even if we take the normal sizes, the python would still, if we take the normal sizes, the king cobra is 18 feet and the python 30 feet. Even though there is a small difference in length, the python would almost outweigh the king cobra as I have already said more than 5 times. So the battle would start out like the king cobra simply being more faster would attack the python, bite it and would inject its venom. So this would say the python will be dead in a matter of 30 minutes. Then the python would use its head and jump onto the king cobra and constrict it. So this the best prediction we can say both will end up dying. But the problem is unlike warm blooded animals, snakes are cold blooded. The head of a decapitated rattlesnake can survive 3 hours post trauma because snakes need less food and less oxygen to survive. So we can pythons they are specialized their muscles are specialized to hunt animals and kill warm blooded animals which die in 5 to 15 minutes due to oxygen starvation. But as a king cobra is cold blooded it would take the python almost 3 hours to kill the python to kill the king cobra which is not possible and very unlikely. The python is going to be down in 30 minutes whereas a king cobra has a lot of time. So simply the python will die in 30 minutes and the king cobra will slither away in a pond or something. So I would keep my bet on the king cobra. So the king cobra wins this battle. If you like the video like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you.